Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. Definitely glad you're here. I want to go ahead and clear the air for a second. So I've been making videos lately that's been a little bit more high risk and a little bit more spicy, I, I guess. And, you know, there's a reason for this. You know, I, I've never really stuck up for myself my entire life. Never really have. I let people run all over top of me. And lately, I've been feeling like, you know, I should do better for myself. Uh, treat myself better and not let people run me over. And still, people do run me over. It's, I, I'm really submissive. And I'm not very confrontational. At all. At all. But this isn't what that video is about, but I wanted to just talk about it for a second before we get to the topic. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the content. We have a few new followers. I definitely appreciate it. The uh, comments and the ratio with the last video was pretty comical, honestly. That's what I was aiming for. I was aiming for there to be <laughs> some rousing of feathers, and it worked. It worked. That's all I have to say. I think it's funny. It's hilarious to me. You guys might not think it's funny, but it's funny to me. I'm having fun. But anyways, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about something in the lines of things that just happened. Well, a lot of people just woke up to this this morning. Nobody watches the Oscars. The people did. They got a special treat. If you're like me, you woke up this morning and you saw... All over your Facebook feed, pictures of Will Smith slapping Chris Rock in the face at the Oscars. Yeah, I was confused by this. I was really was. It was it was weird because I thought it was fake. I thought well, it was just one of those things to get more attention for <laughs> the actual Oscars. And it kind of worked, you know. And they said uh, views for the Oscars is, was 58% higher. Um... Maybe that was people tuning in after that happened to see what happened or hearsay, but they still say it was the lowest, one of the lowest viewed Oscars of all time, which nobody really wants to listen to a bunch of prima donnas, these rich people telling you how to live your life, what you should do, what you should believe in, what you should vote for. These people have no clue about how we live. And when I say how we live, I mean people that doesn't have a lot of money, that's living paycheck to paycheck, suffering because of gas prices, and everything else. And these Hollywood elites sit there and feed you bullshit to make themselves feel better about themselves. It's all egotistical stuff. Kind of similar to what's going on with my town and the elite's law guy. Delete Laws guy. I keep on fucking his name up. I don't really care. It's egotistical. You get a little fame. You get a little attention. You strive for that 15 extra minutes of attention and details. You want to be the talk of the town. That's just how it works. It's how our society works. But the funny thing about this was how it was approached. So Chris Rock was on stage, and he's a comedian, and he does comedian things like comedy and jokes. And if you guys haven't been keeping up with the Will Smith and his wife, I think her name's Jada, uh, I think, and how she confessed to him on, I think it was a podcast, live podcast in a video, that she basically slept with other men, while you see a visibly distressed, broken man. And people made fun of him because of this. Because he, you know, people look at male mental health as a joke. A male cannot suffer from mental health and get help. They're laughed at. And they made a meme of him. It's kind of happened this morning. We've got some memes going on with Will Smith smacking Chris Rock. And it's pretty funny. Some of the memes are great. Some of the video stuff they've been doing is really great. Um, but here's the thing about Will Smith. I I, I kind of, I'm kind of with him and I'm kind of not with him. When I say I'm kind of with him is the fact that, you know, I have a girlfriend, a fiance. And 
somebody said something really awful to her. And I flew off the handle really bad. And somebody would have got hurt. I flew off the handle on this person. And you as, if you're, you know, you're married, if you're a female, a male, transgender, and you have a loved one, and for some reason, somebody hurts them, you want to go in for the kill. You want to attack. You want to attack. But violence is not really the answer. You know, Will Smith was laughing prior, like right after the joke was told. And then you seen the disgust of Jada Pinkett Smith, which was pretty funny. It was pretty funny, actually. Um, and I just, and at that moment, after watching that video, I was like, that bitch, she, she got, she deserved that. She deserved that. But Will Smith took up for his wife because he loves her. And, you know, that's something we all do. You love somebody, you want to protect them. You know, I kind of talked about this with my uh, fiance, And it was interesting because as somebody that's been cheated on multiple times and been told to my face that's what happened and me trying to justify staying together... Um, it's not fun. It's not fun. It makes you a broken person. And I don't want to be woe is me and turn this into my story. I want to talk about people like me, Will Smith, other people that's going through mental health crises, falling apart, being broken, being torn apart. We try to justify things. To say we're happy when we're not happy. We're all secretly falling apart. All of us. You know, there's a lot of things going on in this world. A lot of things. Corruption within the government. Inflation. Racial divides. Gender discrimination. Misogyny. And you name it. It's happening. And it's not just the United States. Right now, there's a war going on in the Ukraine between Russia and the Ukraine. We don't know if we're going to go into World War III. We have a sitting fuckhead of a president lying to the American people about how he had no clue of what his son, piss pants Biden Jr., or whatever his name is, I don't fucking care. Hunter, that's right, Hunter has his name. Maybe I do care. But it's kind of kind of bad because people still made fun of Will Smith because of this. He took up for somebody he loved. Did she deserve it? Did she deserve getting taken, you know, fixed up, fixed for or protected? Honestly, to me, no. I kind of feel like, you know, there for one moment. Whenever Will Smith was laughing, he was thinking, that bitch, he finally got it. But them looking at her, and I know, you know, sometimes when you love somebody, they control you a little bit, and they push you in the wrong direction, and, you know, we've all been there. So he got up and defended his girl. Violence, though, slapping him in the face. At the Oscars, one of the most prestigious things for these Hollywood elite dickheads. But it's it's funny. It's 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 funny because they still gave him the award and he won an Oscar. He got up there crying. You could tell he was hurt. You could tell he was hurt. He should have apologized to Chris Rock, honestly. That should be one of the things that should happen. You know, you don't strike somebody just because your feelings get hurt. You just don't do that. We see that a lot in media. When you look at some of the people on the left talking about how they're so peaceful but want people to die because, you know, they don't share the same belief as you. Their ideas, their mantras. They don't think about that. They don't think about it. They just attack. And I feel sorry for Will Smith. I really do. 
And, you know, I don't watch a lot of things. This channel, we really don't talk about celebrities. But this is beyond just being a celebrity. This is more of a mental health issue than anything. And I feel bad for him. Now, he does come off as a cuck. That's true. He does come off as a cuck. But I feel sorry for the guy. I really do. I really do. It was it, it sucked, you know, to see him hurt whenever, you know, Jada said that to him on that podcast. You could see the defeat, the the, the life just seek out of him. You just saw it. It was, it was bad, you know. What do you guys think about this? Um, what do you guys think about m mental health in men? I know men are a kind of... People hate men right now, especially white men, for some reason. But what do you guys think? How how do you guys feel, honestly? I'd like to know in your comments below. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.